What's goody everybody? I'm coming to y'all talking about New Year's resolutions. Oh my gosh. It's 2020 though. We made it. If you had a rough 2019, like I had a rough 2019, Clean slate. It's 2020 and we in this thing. But New Year's resolutions. What is a resolution? Something that's unrealistic for most of us. That's what a resolution is. A resolution is something that basically is telling you January 1st, 2020. Cut all that stuff that you want to try to reach a goal. You got to cut everything out in order to reach your goal right now that's basically what it is it's something that's basically like you trying to set something set in stone on trying to better yourself instead of setting resolutions i don't believe in resolutions because it's very unrealistic because of the fact that it's basically forcing you to like make a blunt cut of everything that you know you're trying to change about yourself instead of gradually doing so so when you have to make that blunt transition it's gonna be something that's not so forthcoming and it's not gonna be achievable because of the fact that you're forced into doing something so it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable and overwhelmed so instead I personally throughout the year because different things happen within the year so I personally set small goals throughout the year if something is holding me back I'm like look I gotta boom write me some goals out and if I write out goals or if you write out goals it's more achievable and it's more susceptible for you to actually want to do so the biggest thing that a lot of people like to do and set resolutions for is they like to set resolutions for fitness and nutrition. And, you know, it's a lot of a lot of other things. But in my aspect of me being a person of interest in fitness, a lot of people like to do fitness inspired resolutions. I want to lose weight. I want to do better in my nutrition. I want to eat better. But if you're not a person who exercises every day or two days out the week three days out the week it doesn't matter if you don't exercise period and you just all of a sudden want to jump into this lifestyle you're gonna fail because as soon as it gets hard you're not gonna want to do it anymore that's like with anything in life just about we things get hard and we want to quit so instead of setting a resolution to go on the journey of your fitness goals and your nutrition goals set small goals instead of one big goal because a resolution is one big goal to like bluntly change something so with somebody that's not fitness oriented or diet oriented and this is not something you're accustomed to set small goals if you set a small goal and say i want to become more active okay cool write out a goal what are you going to do to become more active what are you going to do to achieve that goal number one whether it's you live in a residential area in a neighborhood walking down your block every day for 20 30 minutes or whether you live in an apartment complex walking around the apartment complex you got free resistance training boom walk up and down the stairs every apartment that i've been to have at least two to three floors so that gives you enough stairs to walk up and down just to start you know burning calories and getting a little motivation now diet i can't dabble in because i'm not a nutritionist but if you want to dab in that start trying to reduce your eating out habits or try to figure out how to cook more um and things like that now what i started doing was meal prepping everybody in the united states of america if you don't good lord i don't know what kind of work you do but everybody gets at least two days off during the week meal prepping if you don't want to meal prep meat because i don't like meal prepping chicken meal prep your vegetables prep vegetables for an entire week and then when you get home or the day before like for lunch meal prep your your meat or your steak your chicken your shrimp just so it could be a little bit more fresh vegetables is a little bit different but meal prep things like that there's a lot of things you have to do and when it comes to like wanting to set a resolution on fitness and nutrition resolutions are or something that's basically made up to make you better but it's not going to make you better if you are not ready to accept that change so 
I would say set small goals. Goals are more achievable than a resolution because of the fact that when you set those small goals, it may help you better yourself for that resolution to start it. Because if you just set one big resolution to do this, it's not going to really be forthcoming for you because you're forcing yourself into doing something. Granted, we all do force ourselves to do some things sometimes, but... With a lot of things, resolutions are something that you would need to be already on the path of wanting to become better for yourself. Because if not, you're not going to succeed. So instead of setting a resolution, set small goals throughout the year. Like January 1st, if you wanted to start your fitness journey January 1st, okay. But set a small goal first. And then keep creating those stepping stones to help you continue to succeed. Accountability partners is a big thing. I never knew what it was, but I had a friend of mine ask me about it. If you need an accountability partner, somebody who's going to say, hey, let's go work out. Or, hey, did you go to the gym today? Hey, did you? how much water did you drink today? Somebody that's going to be on you 100%. And sometimes you need that motivation. Sometimes you have to just gradually start moving into things on your own and you can't tell people about it. Because if you do, you may end up getting some kind of negative feedback such as why are you doing that or like just negative connotations on what you're doing to better yourself because they because sometimes when people see you trying to do better, they try to find things to bring you down. So resolutions cut them because you're not gonna do it set a small goal poquito little little goals stepping stones create stepping stones in order to achieve your goals so if you got any questions on like how to get started in the fitness world how to maybe um, start your nutrition habits and getting better I'm not a nutritionist but I've done personal research myself I can give some information yo I'm starting my YouTube channel this is like my first video I want to drop because I always I always 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 like the beginning of the year and like seeing people talk about resolutions and things that they want to do and it's such a pet peeve of mine because it's like why are you setting something that you're not going to even last a week doing so like comment subscribe share this video it's a rough cut video i'm sorry but i'm still dabbling and learning how to do this so if you like this video comment subscribe and just share this video and let's get the let's just start some some dialect i'm gonna be doing fitness fitness videos vlogs story times maybe some eating videos but i don't like that because those are weird but yo i'm starting my youtube channel y'all follow me my name is jennifer i'm gonna come up with a uh, something different other than like i'm gonna come up with a name for my page um but yeah i hope this video is kind of cool and quirky for y'all and some of y'all may think the same as me i hope y'all like it but peace and love